definitely, absolutely, and absolutely. Just I, I recommend to anybody. I honestly would, and a hand on heart, I would recommend to anybody. Uh, I'm Kevin O'Hanlon. I'm the farm manager um, on the farm here in Bow William in County Wexford. Uh, I suppose we're in conversion to organic. We're organic in May. Um, the, if we milk roughly probably 150, 160 cows um, now, give or take. Um, the, we're kind of year-round calving. We'll tighten that up into two blocks. We have cows transitioning to, to winter milk uh, for the organics uh, because it's a good payment for the milk over the winter. Um, the, we grow most of our own feed. Uh, we're hoping to grow about 90, what, 97, 98% of it. Uh, buying a bit of stuff for the calves, um, for the meal for the calves, the peas, oats and commie crops. Um, other than that, we're hoping everything will be produced off farm. Um, the, yeah, they're Fleck V, the main breed at the moment, um, for the first cross off the Holsteins, and then these will all get um, Norwegian Reds, um, and then the Norwegian Reds go back to Holsteins. Um, it's mostly grass-based, I suppose. Like, we're day 3-3-1 three, three, at grass today. Um, 331 days without the 2nd of January um, so we're out by day um, for that length and now full time obviously when weather allows in the, just in the shoulders year we're in, we're in by night um, so we're hoping to keep the cows out more or less until Christmas or after uh, might keep them in Christmas day would be easier um, but uh, yeah that's the kind of the general we're mainly grass and multi-species based we have a lot of the farm in multi-species about 6% of the farm is in multi-species at this stage and um, yeah, we're two, more or less two years now without nitrogen, uh, without any bag fertilizer actually, not even nitrogen, any bag fertilizer, uh, more or less two years now. Uh, I suppose over the last few years, uh, we would have had pneumonia, um, would have been a, a, an issue with us, and uh, scours, uh, generally, I suppose most farmers can uh, relate to this, that it's one calf in the house, got a scour, uh, tripping, uh, just, you might as well just start doing the other ones before they even get it, because they're going to end up getting it. Um, the, yeah, so they would be the two biggest, I suppose the same as most farms, they're the two biggest issues on most farms and calf thrive, uh, as you can see the calves have jackets on them, um, that's to retain health, or to retain heat, not health, uh, health as well I suppose, uh, but to retain heat, um, so they're not using energy uh, trying to keep themselves warm, uh, there's a good bed under them, um, but yeah, pneumonia and this, that part would have always been the same, that's what I'm trying to come around to, the, the jackets and the good beds, everything that way. To have hay, to have meal available to them, uh, water is available to them. Um, so yeah, there's plenty of uh, air going through this house. There's no issues that way. Um, but yeah, this year uh, we haven't injected the calf um, since we start feeding the precision microbes, and um, we haven't injected the calf or we haven't treated any calf for a scour. Yeah, so since we start feeding the precision microbes, um, the calf figure and like even the first time playing in the house, that there's a lot more playing going on. You'd see an awful lot more playing going on in the house. Um, the shine off the calves, the growth rates of the calves, the calves are, they're, they're, there's, no, there's no setback. There is no setback this year. And like we, you could say, right, it's the beginning of the calves, you've only, what, 30 odd calves in here. But every other year, it was once you got above 15 calves, even though it's a big house and everything, once you got to kind of 15, you start seeing um, the bits of pneumonia coming through, bits of, you start seeing the, the, the how do you say, the, the smaller signs, and scour, flip and scour, we couldn't, scour was a hindrance to us. Now we'd lose frig all calves with scour, we'd be treating it, but it's still a setback to calf. And towards now, there's no, there is no setback, and they're just, they're, they're going from strength to strength. Yeah. Kevin works here, he works on the weekend, and uh, Kevin had fed, hadn't fed the calves in a while, he, he just came in, he came back up the yard to me, he was at the feeding on Saturday morning, he came back up the yard and he said, uh, what were you feeding the calves? Uh, they're completely different calves this year, but I actually forgot to tell him to give him the stuff. It just went out my head. We're so used to myself and Andy or whoever giving it to him, uh, but he, he couldn't go over. Um, the calves were driving out the feeders on him, like the, the feeders, the feeders you slip in, they're not the hang ones. Um, so he, just, he couldn't go over the vigor of the calves and just uh, the general health him, just the general health him. <laughs>